back to my channel, Planty Princess 92 My name is Ashley. Today we are doing an unboxing, a Hoya unboxing. This, I would say, is, I wouldn't call it a rare Hoya, so to speak, but I would definitely say it's a more uncommon or a harder to find Hoya. Um, it does have some splash to it, so I'm really excited. This is just a cutting that is partially had started to root. It was supposed to come, I think, yesterday in the mail, and so it came a day late. I had, because it said it was delivered, I had opened a claim. I got this off of eBay, a seller on eBay, and I was in contact with that seller. The seller responded very quickly. Coming into contact with that seller it happened to be actually a fellow plant tuber, the Taylor Firestone channel, which is a husband and wife who have their own YouTube channel, which I thought was pretty awesome. So anyways, the plant ended up arriving today, which being delayed in the mail had nothing to do with them. They did have really good customer service though, having this little dilemma, but it arrived today and I can't wait to get it out of this package and see how it is. Being it was only in the mail for an extra day, I really hope that it held up. So we'll go ahead and get this baby out of the box. It's just a little two-leafer, but so cute. So this was up for auction. I paid $40, I think, all together. That included like shipping and stuff like that. In the box, it's just in this little ziploc baggie and it's taped to the box so it doesn't go anywhere during shipping all right so now the plants leaves are touching the sphagnum that kind of makes me a little bit uncomfortable because i mean if these leaves get too wet you guys know what happens after that they kind of just get mushy and start to rot so I really hope that they're okay all right the sphagnum is not too wet it still is a very bit damp they had this in here probably to kind of it's wet not wet it's damp but probably to keep the humidity up and the sphagnum a little bit more moist the leaves look okay I'm so excited so the leaves are basically just sitting right on top and if you can't see or tell, this is the Hoya Mathilde Splash. This was a requested Hoya on my Spilling the Soil Hoya Edition series. So because someone requested a Hoya Mathilde being on that series, I decided to go ahead and get one. Um, this was one that I kind of wanted anyways. It wasn't at the top of my wish list. Obviously, if you watched my 2021 wish list video, you know what Hoyas were and were not on my wish list. But even so, not being on my wish list, this is definitely one that I really did want eventually in my collection. It is extremely beautiful. It does have two roots, one at the top there, one right above my finger. And they're actually pretty long, so you can tell that they didn't just pop out, which is really nice. The leaves do have a decent amount of splash kind of going on. So I'm like kind of really excited to see what this plant brings in the future. It's just a little cutting. <clears throat> I don't typically like to buy just cuttings because especially with only two leaves, they make me really nervous because if you lose a leaf, you only have one more leaf left hanging on to kind of power through any troubles or struggles that a plant might have during the transition through mail or acclimation when it comes to your home. But this plant looks super healthy. There's nothing whatsoever wrong with the leaves. Um, even being in the mail a little bit extra longer. They, this leaf is like the tad bit fuzzy and they even have like very, very slight, ver uh, not variation, very, very slight venations kind of that you can see uh, protruding from the leaf, which is also very adorable. I'll have to get a kind of close up picture so you can really see everything that I'm talking about. Hopefully I can catch a little bit of that fuzz and a little bit of the venations. 
But anyways, this is the Hoya Mathilde Splash. I'm really excited to add this to my collection and after some time make a video, make an episode on spilling the soil of this Hoya Mathilde Splash. Thank you guys again for joining me in another unboxing. I hope you enjoyed seeing this new Hoya I'm adding to my collection and maybe even have another plant on your wish list. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're interested in the content I provide. And as always, every plant's a princess. Bye!